Oil isn't just oil, it's the lifeblood of your car. And the debate between 0W20 and 5W30 has split drivers for years. One glides smoother and saves fuel. The other fights back when engines run hot. But most people still pour without thinking, not realizing how much the wrong choice costs. So stick around and watch this video till the end, because today we'll uncover what truly separates them. And you'll never look at oil the same way again. Number 7. Why Oil Numbers Really Matter You've probably stared at bottles labeled 0W20 and 5W30 and wondered, what do these even mean? It sounds technical, but trust me, once you get it, you'll never just grab any oil again. Those numbers tell a story about how your engine survives the heat, the cold, and everything in between. Let's start simple. The W stands for winter, not weight. The number before it shows how easily your oil flows in cold weather. 0W20 is the quick one. It moves like water even at minus 35 degrees Fahrenheit rushing to protect your engine parts before they grind against each other. And 5W30, though slightly thicker, takes just a bit longer to wake up on those icy mornings. When your engine's freezing, that difference could be the line between smooth ignition and painful metal-on-metal -metal wear. Now, when your car's hot and roaring, that second number kicks in. The 20 in 0W20 means it stays thin, reducing friction and saving fuel. But 5W30's 30 gives you that tougher film of protection, perfect for engines that tow, race, or run under pressure. It's like choosing between sprint shoes and hiking boots. Both great, but for totally different terrains. The fun part is that once you know what these numbers mean, you start to see how perfectly they match your driving style. The oil you pick isn't random, it's your engine's armor, customized by temperature and purpose. And that's where 0W20 proves its real worth. Number 6. Fuel Efficiency Secrets of 0W20 If you've ever wondered why car makers have been obsessed with 0W20 oil lately, it's not just hype. It's about squeezing every drop of mileage out of your fuel tank. The industry's racing to meet tough fuel economy goals, and 0W20 has quietly become the hero under the hood. Here's the deal. 0W20 is thinner than 5W30, so it flows through the engine with less resistance. That means your car doesn't waste energy pushing thick oil around. Think of it like running through water versus running through air. Less drag, less effort, more efficiency. In fact, tests show 0W20 can cut engine friction by up to 18%, which might not sound huge, but over time, it adds up to real money. We're talking hundreds of dollars in fuel savings every year, and thousands over your car's lifetime. Drivers who make a lot of short trips or city commutes benefit the most. 0W20 warms up fast, flows instantly on cold starts, and keeps start-stop engines running smoothly without lag. It's basically tailor-made for modern cars with tight engine tolerances and high-tech systems. Even on the highway, 0W20 helps your engine breathe easier reducing pumping losses, freeing up horsepower, and improving overall performance. It's the kind of small tweak that turns into a big payoff the longer you drive. Now, when you see 0W20 only in your car's manual, it's not just a suggestion. It's the result of years of testing, designed to save you fuel, extend engine life, and meet the efficiency standards shaping the future of driving. But efficiency isn't everything. Some engines need muscle over mileage. Number 5. Why 5W30 Still Rules Tough Engines While 0W20 steals the spotlight for fuel efficiency, 5W30 quietly holds its ground as the bodyguard of your engine. It's the oil you want when things get hot, heavy, or downright brutal under the hood. You see, 5W30's thicker consistency gives it a serious edge in protection. When you're towing, climbing steep hills, or just driving hard in the summer heat, your engine's temperature can soar past 260 degrees Fahrenheit. At that point, 
Thinner oils like 0W20 start to lose their grip, but 5W30 stays strong, maintaining a thick cushion that shields metal parts from grinding together. That difference can save you from repair bills that hit thousands of dollars. If your car's been around the block a few times, say over 100,000 miles, 5W30 becomes even more valuable. It seals better, reduces noise from worn components, and can extend your engine's lifespan by nearly a third. Drivers with turbocharged or high-performance engines swear by it because it handles extreme heat without breaking down. And if you live where summers feel like oven blasts, 5W30 is your best bet. It keeps its stability in desert climates, heavy stop-and-go traffic, and dusty conditions where engines take a beating. So, while 0W20 is perfect for city commutes and fuel savings, 5W30 is the oil for those who push their engines hard. It's tough, reliable, and built for drivers who don't want to baby their machines. But still, toughness means nothing if it ignores the rulebook. Number 4. Why You Should Follow OEM Oil Rules When your car manual says use 0W20 only, it's not a friendly suggestion. It's the result of years of testing, engineering, and millions spent on research. Manufacturers don't pick oil types randomly. They test engines for thousands of hours under extreme heat, cold, and stress to figure out exactly which oil keeps everything running at its best. Every part of your engine, from the bearings to the oil pump and cooling system, depends on the right viscosity go thicker or thinner than recommended, and you risk throwing that balance off. In modern engines with systems like variable valve timing, cylinder deactivation, or direct injection, even small changes in oil pressure can cause chaos. It's why using 5W30 in a car built for 0W20 can trigger warning lights or weird performance issues that cost hundreds to diagnose. Different brands have their own oil preferences. Honda and Toyota have been loyal to 0W20 for years, especially in smaller engines focused on mileage. Ford's EcoBoost turbo engines lean toward 5W30 for heat protection, while GM mixes both depending on the vehicle type. Chrysler and Mazda use 0W20 for daily drivers, but bump it up to 5W30 for performance or turbo models. So, before you grab that random oil jug on sale, check your car's cap or manual. The right oil isn't just about efficiency, it's about protecting the technology inside your engine. Stick to what your manufacturer recommends, and your car will thank you every time you start it. That evolution in oil choice led to a whole new breakthrough. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more interesting car facts. Number 3. Synthetic Oils Changing the Game Here's a truth that might surprise you. Not all 0W20 or 5W30 oils are created equal. The real game changer isn't just the viscosity, it's whether the oil is synthetic or conventional. That one detail can mean the difference between an engine that runs smooth for years and one that struggles under heat and wear. Synthetic oils are built in labs to handle extremes, from icy mornings at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to scorching heat at 400 degrees Fahrenheit without breaking down. Synthetic 0W20 flows effortlessly in cold starts and keeps its protective power far longer than regular oil. You can often go 10,000 to 15,000 miles between oil changes instead of the usual 3,000, saving time, money, and a few Saturday afternoons at the service shop. Synthetic 5W30, on the other hand, is a powerhouse under pressure. It holds its strength at high temperatures, reduces deposits on pistons and valves, and protects better when engines are pushed hard. Perfect for long drives, heavy towing, or hot climates. Conventional oils can't keep up. They start to break down past 250 degrees Fahrenheit, forcing more frequent changes 
and leaving engines more exposed. Sure, synthetic oils cost a bit more up front, but they pay off big in the long run. Fewer oil changes, better protection, and improved resale value because your car's been running cleaner for years. Next time you're due for an oil change, think of synthetic as a smart investment in your engine's future, not just a maintenance expense. And that shift completely changed how climate now dictates the oil game. Number two, choosing the right oil for every climate. When it comes to oil, where you live can be just as important as what you drive. Different climates demand different viscosities, and ignoring that can cost your engine dearly. In freezing northern states where winter mornings can hit minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 0W20 is a lifesaver. Its ultra-thin flow gets moving fast, coating critical engine parts before friction can do damage. In these brutal temperatures, it cuts cold start wear nearly in half compared to 5W30. That's why drivers in places like Minnesota or Alaska rely on it for smooth starts during those polar vortex mornings when cars usually groan to life. Now, swing down to the desert heat of Arizona or Nevada, and the story flips. When outside temps soar past 115 degrees Fahrenheit and underhood heat reaches 200 degrees Fahrenheit or more, 5W30 becomes the champion. It holds its thickness, keeps the oil film strong, and prevents the thinning that makes 0W20 lose up to 30% of its protection. Phoenix drivers often notice less oil burn-off and smoother performance when switching to 5W30 during scorching summer months. In humid southern regions or coastal cities, both oils work fine. The trick is changing it on time. But if you're in the mountains, 0W20 helps with those icy starts, while 5W30 protects during long downhill runs where oil temperatures spike. City commuters tend to love 0W20's efficiency, while rural drivers, hauling and climbing, lean toward 5W30's strength. Wherever you are, frozen north, dusty desert, or coastal breeze, the right oil is more than just numbers. It's about giving your engine what it needs to handle your climate's personality. All those climate decisions eventually show up on your wallet. Number 1. The Real Cost of Oil Choice Choosing between 0W20 and 5W30 isn't just about what flows better. It's about what saves or costs you more over the long haul. Once you factor in fuel efficiency, engine life, and maintenance, the oil you pick can quietly make a big financial difference. For most drivers, 0W20 wins on everyday savings. It improves fuel economy by a few percent, translating into roughly $150 to $300 saved each year at current gas prices. It also keeps engines cleaner, reducing carbon buildup and improving resale value. Over a typical 12-year ownership period, that can mean thousands saved, without doing a single extra thing besides using the right oil. But there's another side to the story. Engines built for 5W30 often last longer before major repairs, sometimes up to 75,000 more miles. That extended lifespan can save you $5,000 to $8,000 in delayed replacement or repair costs. Its thicker film shields older engines and high-stress setups from wear that thinner oils can't handle. Synthetic oils in either grade add another layer of value. They cost a bit more up front, but stretch oil changes three times longer, prevent expensive heat damage, and can save around $2,000 in avoided repairs over the years. But there's a catch. Using the wrong viscosity can backfire big time. Warranty voids, emissions issues, or even turbo damage can cost anywhere from $2,000 to $10,000. Because while oil might seem like a small maintenance detail, it's really one of the biggest long-term investments you make in your car's health and your wallet. 0W20 and 5W30 each have their moment to shine, but only one truly fits your drive. Choose smart and your car will thank you every mile of the way.
Did you find this video helpful? Which one of all these facts did you find the most interesting? Tell us in the comments and click here for the next video for more car facts that'll surprise you. Thanks for watching.